Hello guys, Dell 304 here. Um, man, it's just really, it's allergy season, and I know it. Man, I'm just real stuffed up. Anyway, um, as I was saying, we are going to do a review of the Dell Latitude D810. I know I'm a bit overdue on this review, but I just wanted to make sure that it was, you know, good. I just want to keep it short and simple, and I want to get to the basics. So. First thing we want to do is we're going to go for ports. Let me go ahead and turn on the light for that because that really helps. Um, the front here. Uh, actually, before we start, this is a business uh, grade laptop. It's part of the Latitude D series. Um, this was one of the Dell's first widescreen latitudes, the first being the D800. Then the D810 uh, brought some improvements, um, but it lost a couple of the ports that the D800 did have. But, anyway, we're going to get, continue on with the review. I keep bumping the tripod, sorry. Um, we have a latch here. That's, um, it's kind of different from the Latitude D6 series, where it doesn't, like, completely depress. It just kind of has a little latch down here, so, you know, it's a little different. I, I guess it's okay. Uh, and then here's a speaker. Here's another speaker. So there's two speakers on the front and the latch, basically. Moving on, okay, so we have a DVD uh, ROM drive, CDRW, uh, this is the Latitude D bay, so basically what that is, is that you can um, change out drives by just put, inserting that, pulling it out, here's your Dell Latitude drive module, it's just a, and then you can replace it with, say, a floppy drive module, it just pops right in and automatically detects it. And there we go, now we have a floppy drive module installed. So, um, I believe there are floppy drives, CDRW drives, uh, DVDRW drives, uh, second battery or second hard drive. So that's real nice. I'm going to go ahead and put the CD back in for now. So yeah, that's nice. And right here we have headphone and microphone ports and two USB 2.0s. Uh, vent here. On the back we have another vent. This is the vent for the uh, graphics card. Uh, we have a infrared port, and when I did get this laptop, one thing that was uh, was surprising is that the original tape from the manufacturer was on the um, the infrared port. So here we have an Ethernet uh, modem, two more USB ports, S video. Uh, we have, and that is something that my newer computer does not have. Uh, we have serial. Uh, VGA and the power. And here's the vent for the CPU. Really sorry about my sniffing. I'm just really stuffed up since it's allergy season. Another vent over here, Kensington lock. Let me zoom out a little bit. Uh, we have a PC card slot. It's got a dummy in it right now. Dell dummy. So there's that. We have the hard drive bay right here. We have a smart card reader up here. And that's about it. Uh, just a quick show on the bottom of the laptop. I'm going to go ahead and cover up my product key so you guys can't steal my XP. Uh, right here we just have the battery. Um, the battery does work, but it does have a problem with it. Uh, if you press this here, it blinks. Here, hold on. Let me turn off the light. So if you press this here, it'll blink three times, indicating a fault with the battery. Um, but the battery does hold a charge still. So, yeah. I believe it's an 80 watt hour battery. Um, over there is just the vent, the strike zone, which the Latitude incorporated, which my Inspiron does have. Um, yeah, there's strike zone. Um, over here where the COA is, there's uh, slots for the modem and the memory in here. The memory's here. There's another memory module into the keyboard. Uh, so yeah, that's the bottom of the laptop. Uh, the P, the uh, Dell Attitude D series laptops um, use the Dell PA10 or PA12 adapters. Um, I happen to have one of those Chinese replacement ones. Sorry, I keep moving there. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Um, they do have Chinese replacement ones. I mean, I do have a Chinese replacement one, but I have a genuine one which works with my Inspiron also. So, that's my main computer if you're wondering. Um, anyway. Let's go ahead and boot this thing up. We're already five minutes into the video and I haven't even booted it up yet. That's funny. I'm going to go ahead and plug it in. And I'm going to go ahead and open it up. So, yeah. 
Let me move in a little bit here. Okay, so let me... Okay. So we have the touchpad here, we got the click buttons, and we also have the pointing stick up here, a little eraser head right there, uh, two more clicky buttons. Uh, we also have Windows XP and Intel Centrino stickers. The specs on this thing, I haven't even mentioned the specs. Um, it has an Intel Pentium M at 2 gigahertz with 2 megabytes of cache. Uh, viewers of my first video of this thing, um, it has 2 megabytes of cache? Um, anyways, that's a little joke for my regular viewers. Um, it has 2 gigabytes of DDR2 RAM. It has a 80 gigabyte 7200 RPM hard drive. And it has Windows XP Professional Service Pack 3. Um, see so yeah, how there's the stickers. Up here is the keyboard. Uh, I did order a new keyboard, but I can't get that yet. Um, since mine does have a missing control key. Um, but anyway, you know, it's not that important. So I figured I'd just make the review now. Uh, over here we just have Latitude D810. We have a vent over there, by the way. Uh, we have the Dell logo, power, we have volume, and we have uh, mute. And then we do have some indicators up here. Hold on a minute. We do have some indicators up there for... Uh, Num lock, scroll lock, caps lock, Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth, which is, which this computer does support. Over here, we just have the indicators for power, hard drive, and battery. So that's nice. Um, and yeah, so let's go ahead and boot this freaking thing up because this video is already too long, and I'm very sniffly, which I really do need a tissue. So I'm gonna go ahead and. Uh, press F2 to get into the setup if I didn't miss it already. Damn, I missed it. Oh well. Um, yeah, so you guys can watch that boot up while I go do something. Hold on. So it does boot up really fast. Um, so yeah, that's real nice. Uh, let's go ahead and press Control Alt Delete. Uh, put my password. Yep, that's not right. Hold on. Okay. So there's that. Nice startup sound and all that good stuff. I do have the Dell D, D series wallpaper. So, yeah. So I do have some stuff on this computer, as you can see over there. Um, so, yeah. I'm basically just going to show you the specs. Um, show you Task Manager and the system properties. and that'll good. That's going to be about it. Let's go ahead and get in with the system specs. This thing is incredibly fast. Like, it already loaded all the stuff in the system tray. So, yeah. It already loaded everything. So, But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and show you the specs here. Uh, see if I can do this here. Okay. Hold on. Okay. So, it's a Dell Attitude D810. Um, I did do the OEM logo thing. This is not an original install. I just made it look like that. Um, Intel Penny M processor 2 gigahertz, 2 gigahertz and 2 gigabytes of RAM. Physical address extension, which means your CPU uh, can support more than 4 gigs of RAM. Support information, you guys don't need to see that. Uh, yeah, um, I'm going to go ahead and run a program now just to show you the speed. I'm going to run a couple programs actually. If you want to see a load test on this laptop, just click on this finger like right now. So, yeah, there's that. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and run Google Chrome here. This is the newest version of Google Chrome as of this video, Google Chrome 11. And there's Google. So as you can see, it opens really fast. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and open Microsoft Word. Sorry it's so bright. What if I turn off the light? I don't know. But there's Word. I can type stuff, you know. Um, hold on a minute. So yeah, um, I can type stuff. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much the Dell Attitude D810. So I'm not going to show you this shutdown process because I'm going to upload this video with it. Um, but anyway, yeah, that is a review of the Dell Attitude D810. Hope you guys enjoyed this. And um, yeah, see you later. Again, I apologize for my sniffling throughout the video. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching this video and good night.